Hello, and welcome to the Mobius Strip video. My name is Eris. In this video, we're going to explore some of the properties of Mobius Strips and learn a little about geometry. Let's start by setting up. I've already listed the materials, but I'll go over them again here. First, you'll need a ruler. You'll need a pen or a pencil. You'll need tape. Any tape is fine. You'll need scissors. And you'll need one piece of paper. So you may need another if you mess up. Now you'll want to take your ruler, put it at the top or the bottom of the page, and take your pen and mark at two inches, four inches, and at six inches. Then you'll want to turn your paper and use your ruler as a straight edge. Continue your lines all the way down the page. Try to keep them parallel, but it's okay if they don't come out perfect. Next, you'll want to cut along those lines that you just drew. And again, it's okay if you aren't perfect when cutting. Now that you have your strips cut out, you'll notice that one of them is bigger than the other three. You'll want to set that strip aside from the other three. Just keep it separate in whatever way. Before we start making our Mobius strips, I'll explain what they are, some of their uses, and some of the history behind them. The Mobius strip, which you can see in the bottom right corner, was discovered independently by two German mathematicians in 1858. A Mobius strip is a surface with only one side and one edge. In this video, we will be making these strips with the paper that was cut earlier. Mobius strips are used in ribbons for typewriters or computer printer cartridges and conveyor belts since the entire surface area of the strip is used equally. We're going to make our first Mobius strip. You'll want to take one of the thin strips, get some tape, maybe put it off to the side. Take your strip in your hands and instead of making a normal loop with it, you want to give one side a half twist, not a full twist, just a half twist, and tape it together like that. You'll probably want to tape the other side too. Now to show that this only has one side, we're going to use our pen or pencil and draw a center line all the way around. Just keep following the same line until you reach back where you started. Now just look at your strip all over you'll notice that you've drawn on the front and the back. Now, because we've drawn on all sides, we've shown that it only has one side. All the way around, you can use your finger, start at one side, trace the entire surface area of the strip, and end up right back where you started. Now we're going to take our scissors and cut down that center line that you drew. Just cut all the way down. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as you end up right where you started. Maybe guess what you think is going to happen. 
maybe pause the video. And if you can see now that I've cut all the way, it's just one singular loop. Now, if you'll notice, when I'm playing with it, it's really twisty. We can't really tell how many sides it has easily, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on one side. And as you can see, I've drawn on this half, but not on this half. That means that this has two sides. Because the original Mobius strip only had one edge, when it is cut down the center line, a second edge is created. This is why the result was one long strip with two edges and two sides. In the bottom left, you can see this illustrated with the cut Mobius strip still folded together. In this picture, you can see one side of the long strip in pink and the other side in blue. This time, we're going to be using the thicker strip that we set aside earlier. We're still going to be making a Mobius strip, so same thing as before, set aside your tape. Give your paper a half twist, tape it together, and this time we want to be very certain that our tape goes all the way across. My tape didn't quite reach all the way across here, so I'm going to grab a little bit more tape and make sure that the tape goes all the way across where the two papers ends connect. Now we're going to take our pen and instead of drawing a center line this time, we're going to draw about one third from the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect, it can be anywhere from a third to a fourth from the edge. You just want to make sure that you don't cross over the middle while you do this. Now just keep drawing all the way around until you reach right back where you started. Just connect up your two lines and you'll see it looks pretty much the same as before, just a little bit off center. You drew on all the sides, same as before. You'll see that your line doesn't quite match up with the other side of the page, though. You can kind of see through the page where I drew with my pen on the back side is slightly off. So now we're going to cut down that one third line that you made. doesn't have to be a perfect cut. Just cut all the way down. You'll see that it's not, the line isn't there on the back of the page. Just follow the line that's there. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you're not crossing over the center. That'll mess it up. But as long as you don't cross over the middle, you should be fine. Now this can be a little bit tricky to cut, so be careful to not snip the other ends. At the end it might get really tricky, so you can turn it over and kind of guess where you should cut. And as you cut it, you'll notice that you get two loops. Big loop and a little loop. Now this one looks like a Mobius strip, and this one looks like the big loop from before. And we can see that this loop, we've cut the edges off of. At least it looks like that. We've cut on all the sides of this one. And now we'll talk a little bit about why this happens. By cutting one third from the edge of the Mobius strip, you are cutting off the Mobius strip's edge. This leaves the original Mobius strip with its edges cut off, which is the smaller loop, and the edge that has been cut off, which is the larger two-sided loop. In the bottom left, you can see this illustrated with the cut Mobius strip still folded together. 
In this picture, you can see the original Mobius strip in purple, and you can see one side of the long strip in pink, and the other side in blue. Before I start the last part, let's talk about chirality. In geometry, an object is chiral and is said to have chirality if it can't be turned into its mirror image by just moving it. An object that is not chiral is called achiral. An example of chiral objects are left and right shoes, which are mirror images, but you can't turn a left shoe into a right shoe just by moving it. An example of an achiral object is the letter C, which looks different when mirrored, but can be rotated so that it looks the same. Mobius strips are chiral, which is important for this last part of the video. Since Mobius strips are chiral, there are two opposite ways we can make them, which is important here. We're going to use the last two strips of paper. Get your tape ready. And for this first strip, we're going to make the half turn towards ourself. Now the direction is important here, so I'll do it again. And now we just tape it like a normal Mobius strip. Now for this next one, we're going to turn it the opposite direction. We're going to turn it away from you. Let's just turn it that direction. I'll do it again. And just tape it the same way as the last one. Now, if you position them kind of like I'm positioning them, your Mobius strips should look like mirror images. If they do, then you've done it right. If they look like copies, then you didn't turn your strips in opposite directions. Now, we're going to tape our two Mobius strips together for this next step. You want to put your two Mobius strips together at approximately 90 degree angles. just like I have it here. And you want to tape it together. Now you want to tape the other part so that it's not falling off. Now we're going to flip it over and tape boost last two sections that haven't been taped. So it should look kind of like this. I'll turn it around so you can get a good idea of how it looks from lots of different angles. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut down the center of both strips. Now, you can draw a center line down both if you want to, but you don't need to as long as you stick to the center. Now, be careful cutting in the middle because you don't want to cut the top or the bottom. If it's getting hard, you can reposition your scissors. Just make sure you're only cutting what you're supposed to. Once you get half of it, you can reposition your scissors. You can flip it if you need to. And once you've finished cutting, you should end up 
once you fiddle with it a little bit, with two interlocked hearts. Maybe flip it over, fiddle with it a little bit more to get the best angle. But you've got two hearts. Now if you end up with a boat and a weird thing like this, then you didn't turn your strips in opposite directions. Feel free to experiment more with Mobius strips, and thank you for watching!